Okay, so you've got your first concertina, and you might think that all concertinas are the same, aren't they? Just a load of buttons and bellows, but actually no, there are quite a few different types. Um, I'm going to show you in this short video how to tell the difference between an Anglo concertina and an English concertina. Those are the two main types. Right, here are two concertinas. One is an English, one is an Anglo. So how do we tell the difference just by looking? Well, for a start, the English concertina here has got this thumb loop, okay? Whereas the Anglo concertina has a hand strap. Now look at the way the buttons are laid out. On the English concertina, they go from back to front and they're dead straight, okay? And on this Anglo concertina, they go up and down and generally they are a little bit curved. Not all Anglo concertinas or English concertinas have the same amount of buttons. These are two fairly standard examples I've got here. This Anglo over here has got 15 buttons on this side and 15 on the other side. And this English concertina over here has got 48 buttons. Also, the English concertina, you can see, it has got these little uh, finger rests. See? Both sides. And the Anglo doesn't have that. It has this uh, arrangement where you have the hand strap and this kind of block of wood here. So that's how you can tell straight away just by looking. Uh, there is another type of concertina called a duet, which is similar to the English. Uh, but I'm just dealing with the two main types, the English and the Anglo. In sound, the main difference, of course, is that on the Anglo concertina, you have... A different note on the push and the pull. On the English concertina, it's the same note on the push and the pull. See? same note on the push and the pull. So that is the fundamental difference between the two and obviously the way that you play them is very different. I'm not going to get into that here. This is simply to help you if you've got uh, a concertina and you don't know whether it's an English or an Anglo. The two main types of Anglo concertina are the CG and the GD. This is a CG, that means to say that this row which is the middle row of the three on this 30 button instrument is in the key of C. All these notes on the push are found in the chord of C major. And this row nearest to me uh, is in the key of G major. All the notes on the push are found in the chord of G major. So all the notes on the push on the C row are either C, E and G and all the notes on the G row are in the chord of G major, so they're all G's or B's or D's. So if you want to find a C note on the C row on this five button aside instrument, it's the third button up, that's a C, and also it's this first button on the other side, on the right hand side. So they're C's, and on the other row it's uh, two notes of G that you have. So this is a C, G, okay? The other uh, very popular Anglo concertina is a GD. Same sort of idea, but this row, middle row, is G. And this row is D. So the whole thing is uh, lower pitched. And uh, on this middle row, all the notes on the push are either Gs or Bs or Ds, notes found in the chord of G major. And on the row nearest to you, the player, nearest to me here, uh, all the notes are either uh, D, F sharp or A, notes found in the chord of D major. So this is a G, D. Uh, both of my Anglo concertinas are 30 button, three rows of five on each side. Uh, you very often get 20 button, which is the same thing, but without that front row with all those weird accidentals. Uh, there are 40 buttons where you get extra notes at the ends here. 
and maybe a few extras over here and sometimes you get the drone note and some old concertinas might even give you a bird whistle uh, on one of the buttons very strange but that essentially is the difference a duet concertina uh, is similar to the english in the, in the sense that the notes are the same on the push and the pull but the two sides the left and the right hand side give you notes that are an octave apart so it's more akin to an english concertina but not exactly the same so hopefully that's helped you if you've been given a concertina or you bought one from a junk shop you don't know what it is hopefully that's helped you if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful give it a like subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching and you'll see me in my next video